to promote or you have to engage in political activity. Uh, and uh, the funniest moment that uh, nobody can give a certain definition what uh, political activity is. So uh, the investigative committee, so the prosecutor of this uh, uh, can just choose uh, for what they want to uh, close the organization. Uh, so uh, the second reason is that uh, you have to get uh, the uh, money abroad from foreign donors. So uh, this situation goes that uh, many uh, famous, many big organizations uh, had to stop their uh, normal work. Uh, and uh, I have to say that uh, now uh, even more uh, NGOs uh, in traditional way uh, have no benefit uh, to work. Uh, it's amazing, but it's a fact. Uh, uh, it's more uh, convenient uh, to work as an unregistered uh, public movement, for example, or even the, uh, as a limited liable company. Uh, for example, um, um, I can say that I'm also the coordinator of uh, Zona Pravo organization, and uh, Zona Pravo uh, uh, is a limited liability company. And uh, uh, what's the advantages of this uh, form of work? Uh, first of all, uh, you do not have to make uh, many reports. Uh, you do not have to uh, pay more tax. Uh, so the attention of uh, the state is just a uh, concern on the uh, NGOs. Uh, so, uh, I can say that um, NGOs that uh, promote human rights uh, uh, cannot, uh, uh, do not have uh, the access to the state grants. State grants can be given or are given uh, to the organizations that demonstrate uh, loyalty, or uh, <clears throat> when uh, we can speak about the uh, corruption moments. Uh, uh, compromise uh, themes, these are children, orphans, but uh, the organizations that deal with the police abuse, for example, they do not have a chance to get the money from the state. Uh, crowdfunding, uh, as, the, uh, as for the crowdfunding, it's difficult to, to do it in Russia because um, uh, ordinary people do not have much money to uh, give to the NGOs. Uh, businessmen and uh, uh, companies uh, are afraid of giving money to the NGOs. Uh, because uh, the pressure from the state is very big and they are afraid of uh, losing uh, their business. So, uh, what's the solution of this? Uh, I can say that uh, uh, for the last uh, se uh, several, several years uh, we uh, promote uh, and we uh, Build some uh, structures uh, uh, of uh, or some unions of uh, private, uh, let's say, private practicing uh, lawyers. Uh, they, we think that uh, the client or the victim, if uh, she or he has money, uh, must uh, pay for our work uh, because uh, the traditional way when we had donors and we get money from them, um, doesn't work now. So we have to have money for helping uh, other people who uh, indeed do not have money uh, for pay. Or, for example, we, uh, if we earn money uh, in this way, we can 
spend money on the uh, uh, cases that are um, very actual uh, for all the citizens of Russia. For example, uh, I guess you know about the problem of Telegram. Do you know what Telegram is? Yes. Uh, so um, Agora uh, represents uh, the interests of Pavel Gorov, uh, the creator of Telegram, and uh, we do not get money from Gorov because uh, we think that uh, so we work pro bono. Uh, I can say that uh, this is not uh, the confrontation, let's say, between the Turov and the state. This is about the freedom of uh, internet, and so we uh, decided that we will work pro bono. Uh, I think that's all in brief. Uh, I, can, I can say that anyway, uh, we stay optimist. And so uh, we think that one day uh, the Russia, Russian Federation uh, will turn back to the democratic way. Thank you.